Hello spider peeps. A while ago I did some casting of eyeballs. Do you remember? Let's make eyeballs. And uh, I was working on an animatronics eye mechanism designed by Will Cogley. He has created a whole new mechanism and this is it. But this is not about this really that I'm going to make this video today. I wasn't actually going to build this on YouTube because you can go to Will's channel and watch him do it anyway. I might, um, but my plans for my video this week fell through because I was waiting for some things to arrive. But the cool thing about Will's video is that he designed a PCB. I like designing PCBs. He had them manufactured at JLC PCB, which is where I get my PCs manufactured. And he put his Gerber designs on his website so that I could download them and I could order them from JLC PCB. But I decided I wasn't going to get them manufactured by them. I'd just get the PCBs made and I would build the board myself. What was really nice is on his website, in the download pack that he did, he also provided a bill of materials now I could have uploaded this to JLC PCB and they would have put it on the board. But normally what I'd do, uh, I would just uh, source them on eBay. But I decided to do something different this time. You see, when you order a PCB, you can actually order the parts from the LSCSC, that's it, it's, <laughs> Uh, this this library here. LCSC. This is one of the Chinese versions of Mouser or RS components or one of the big electronic suppliers in the US or the UK. So if I open up one of my designs here, so when I'm placing something, I do library and you see you can select directly from this LCSC electronics library and order them from there. But if you click on LCSC parts, it takes you to LCSC. And as you can see, I'm already logged in. Isn't that cool? So in his download pack, he's also got the BOM, the Bill of Materials, which is actually formatted for JLC PCB. So let's see what we have to do to order that. I'll go to LCSC and there's a thing called BOM tool. So let's select that Bill of Materials. There it is open. This is an import so we've got to make sure that we get the columns in the right order. This is the quantity. This designator I suppose that could be customer part number. Yeah. Um, footprint. Does it say footprint? No. Um, so don't know what that is but he's got the LCSC part number so that can be LCSC part number probably don't really need that footprint. I suppose that's description. Let's call it a description. Oh no, pack footprint is probably the package, isn't it? Could be. All right, so go next. If you see, all of these items are in stock. I think I could just look, add to cart like that. Now, the only issue is it looks like, see, the order quantity, you have to order five of each of them, but none of them are that expensive. I mean, that capacity, yeah, that's probably a lot. That's 40 cents. So I've got to buy five of them. No, I don't have to buy five of them, do I? I only have to buy one of those. So that's an expensive thing, but that doesn't matter. So some of these have got a minimum order and some of them haven't. So let's say I order five PCBs. I noticed up here, you've got a quantity multiplier. I'm just going to see, I mean, that's three, that's three dollars for that many. That's not that many. I'm having to buy five anyway. So if I was to buy five of everything, how much is that going to be? See, that's only seven dollars. So, uh, right, I'm going to buy ten of, I'm not going to that, get that many boards, but I'm going to buy ten of them just to see what this process is like. And then I'll have some spares if I want to build more of these eye mechanisms, which I, actually I think I do. I mean, although that seems like it's a lot for maybe some little bits I wonder what it would be if I sourced it locally, which is what I normally do, sourced it from within the UK from eBay. I mean, sometimes they even have to buy from AliExpress because they don't have these things in the UK. Maybe maybe I'll have a quick look. But anyway, let's add those to the cart. Whoa, what's going on there? Add to cart. Um, multiply by 10. I'm just going to multiply by one just in case I end up ordering hundreds of them. So add those. Add to cart successful. OK, um, let's get those ordered. All right, so here you go. Here's what I ordered. I ordered six different items, so I should get 10 of each of those. 
Uh, I ordered it on the 8th of June. They also had a holiday from June the 6th to June the 20th. So, I mean, it might take a while for it to arrive. OK, so just looking at for some of these on eBay. So you see this one, a 220 uh, UF. There you go. So 10 of those are £3.19 in the UK, if that's the same one. So 10 of those are £3. Let's see if we can get these. Yeah, so I mean, that's something like it. How many of those do you get? Not sure. Oh, there you go. All right, 50 pieces. So I could buy a lot. If they're the same ones, I could buy a lot more of those. Oh, no, they're different, aren't they? Maybe something like that. OK, so five of those for 229. So the other thing was about three pound. So I need two of those. So that's another five pounds. So we're at about eight pound at the moment, I mean, depending on where I buy them. I'm just doing this quick. There was this different electrolytic capacitor. So let's say that's the same as the other. So that's another three. Now I'm at 11 pounds. Let's have a look at these. OK, that looks a bit like them. So 11 pound. How many of these do you get each? OK, so hey, look, that's 30 quid, isn't it? Maybe there's cheaper places to buy it from here locally but yeah so assuming that's the one it might not be exactly the same but hey we were at 38 quid what other things have we got that's probably a bad example but i'm not trying to prove it either way it's just sometimes it might be cheap whoops it must be, it's got to be cheaper to buy stuff or for all in one place uh there's a step down oh, there you go how much are those five pounds each we're at 50 pounds if that's the same one Definitely depends on the part. This one's going to be fun. How much is this one? And of course, I could get these from AliExpress as well. Not denying that. And there might be other suppliers. I'm just doing this really quickly just to see if it's it's an option to buy from LCSC. Let's assume I just saw some that looked like it. I mean, let's assume there's something from that. Right, they're from China anyway, so I'd have to wait for those. Um, they look more like it. I mean, how much are they just... Assuming they're right, so they are, how many can you buy at once? So if I bought 10 of those, let's just do the cheapest. Yeah, so that's about £2. They're cheaper than I thought they'd be, actually, but I suppose it depends on what the, what was it again? Is there a, let me just look at this. It was 33 microhenry. Is there a 33 microhenry? They might be bigger. 222, 10, yeah, about the same price. Yeah, they're just a really quick experiment. But you see, if I've got to wait for these from China anyway, if I can't source these in the UK, why don't I buy all of it in one go? And then they cut down all the individual postage if the, there's postage charged on the other stuff. All right, so I wonder when that will arrive. I'd say just about now. So that was ordered on the 6th and it's now the 18th and they were on holiday as well. That means it's taken about 10 days. So that, that's really good. And the postage was cheap anyway. I think it was about $16. I'll check and put the actual figure up here on the screen now. All right, came with this little uh, QR code on it, which I've scribbled out. This must be the box that goes through the factory as, as they put their stuff in the boxes. And I've not looked at this. It feels very heavy. I mean, I've got 10 of everything, but I've not got that many heavy things. Yeah, that's just the contents list. So I ordered six things in the end. Nicely packaged. Oh, they are all nicely packaged. OK, so there's the capacitors. There's the board things. Obviously, 10 of those. There's those incredibly expensive power chips. So they were expensive over here weren't they there's quite a lot going on in there they're quite big quite heavy so yeah that sort of makes sense but not for the price in the uk maybe i'll put the spare ones on ebay those are just the diodes no way was that price right for them but anyway yeah these feel really heavy oh these are the inductors when you get a PC being made and you get the assembly, this is what it all arrives in. These go into the machines. Yeah, that's the heavy bit. I wish I could find a way of showing you how heavy that was. That, that That's really heavy. I suppose there's a lot of copper wire or copper coated wire wound up into little coils. Plus the, the ferrite is quite heavy as well. And uh, yeah, and then the other set of capacitors. 
Interestingly, I ordered the board and the parts at the same time, and these have come before the boards. I suppose these are just picked. The boards are actually manufactured. Yeah, this seems like it's an option. So I think when I try and build stuff again, if I don't want to pay for assembly, because I'm not sure of it, if I made a mistake on the board, I could use the pieces on one board, but then get another board, which is, you know, £3 for another set of five prototype boards, and then I've still got four more sets of parts, which I could use on them. So this actually might be an option, buying these directly from China. And there's just something about these parts that feel quality. I don't know why the, these these just do feel quality. I mean, they're obviously they're wrapped up. That makes no difference. But I think these are quality part. I think this is a serious option. Anyway, I, as I said, I might do another video of assembling this. This wasn't my intention. Please go and check out Will Cogley's channel. How he's designed this is fantastic. The old design had a load of screws in it he's done this engineering an analysis of the cost of having push fits rather than screws and it's fascinating so i'll leave a link to the video on a card here and also a link in my description please go and give him some love and then i might do this i don't know because until i've get my parts from, for my next video that i'm planning to make i've got nothing to film and nothing to show you so um yeah i might I might build this and get it all working and compare it to the other one. Anyway, what we're going to see next? Well, you're going to have to subscribe and find out. Bye. Oh, if I only had some way of weighing this. Of course, <laughs> all my resin videos, what am I thinking of? Let's put those on there. Yeah, 43 grams. That feels a lot for there. What, what's in there? They do feel feel heavy I mean I suppose there's 10 of them that's only 4.3 grams each I don't know look they feel heavy right they feel quality that's all I'm saying okay okay bye